That's my not, seat. That's not your seat. How can you tell us not my seat? Because your ticket has your seat number on it. Whatever. Let's find it. What the <laughs> Mm. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be looking at Karen's freak out. Uh -uh. So if you if you don't know by now what a Karen is, you can use Google. Urban Dictionary is good. They really explicitly throw it down for you, you know, just in the bag. And yeah, I figured I'd mix it up a little bit, you know, since I've been gone again for a whole nother month. You, you know what's crazy? I really have never genuinely, like genuinely sat down and realized how many of you like wait for me to put, like it's actually bad. Like, I don't know why y'all so, like it's so bad and I have to stop doing that. But I swear to God, I do not do it on purpose. But you don't have to worry about me though. J Jason is doing fine right now. I'm chilling. <laughs> this is getting been in the gym like you i i have nothing else to say on that but yeah ever since tiktok has been as big of a platform as it is it's so easy to legit just dead ass get on your phone and see people karen's middle-aged white caucasians embarrass themselves and i'm not gonna lie it is a ring around the rosy because i love it it is something that just makes you appreciate the type of sanity that you carry because me i'm not arguing with no stranger that's a waste of my time but i love to witness it like for these people to get so upset at stuff that probably is the smallest inconvenience ever wow you've lost your mind so yeah we're just gonna check out a compilation i know a few of you actually wanted me to do a type of video like this but i don't know i just never thought it would be that that interesting but i felt like y'all might enjoy this because i found some crazy ass clips if any of you are new whatsoever by any chance make sure to subscribe drop a like on this video if you've ever you know come across a karen because they're real this isn't make believe it's not fake internet beef you genuinely could be mowing your lawn and mow a little too close to the neighbor's yard and karen just pops out her house and, and hands it to you so it's real but forget all the small talk we're just gonna hop right into it uh hope you guys end up enjoying this video and yeah let's see them just swirl down you just turned it on we just turned it on i'm not getting it but see these these are the karens that just amplify it these are the karens that make you want to stay and watch these types of videos because it's like why i can ask why all day and will they come up with an answer i doubt it highly doubt it this is real this is beef you, 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 I'm not arguing with no old ass. I mean, they're not that old, but it's just not worth your time. That's what I meant to say. It's not worth your breath. Karen freaks out after being asked to sit in the seat they fine. paid for. It's not your Go seat. Go away. That's not gonna I happen. pay my money. I have a right to, to it. sit in your seat. Correct? Yes, that's my not, seat. That's not your seat. How can you tell us not my seat? Because your ticket has your seat number on it. Whatever. Let's find it. Whatever. This can easily do be your own policy. No, you're, you're no, I'm going to be an asshole because you're being an asshole. What would you do if you were in this theater? Here. Okay, and I'm trying to find And this will be the last time that I come to this imagined theater. <laughs> sounds All right, great. I paid I, that my money. Great. Does please, anybody please here don't come think back. that please this don't is actually uh, a, a, a thing where it's like, it doesn't matter where you sit? It's not a side seating. It is. Go sit in your own seat. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. What is the male name for Karen? Is it Ken? Is it Chris? I don't know. But there are male versions of them too. Ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to preface that hopefully you didn't think it was just a middle-aged white lady. They come in all shapes and sizes. But like, oh my goodness. It just doesn't make sense because genuinely his argument is that he paid for his seat. He's sitting down. But on your ticket, it actually does. Like, this is real. It actually just says what row and number your seat is. If you were to check his ticket and it ain't it, get up. It's like, these are easy fixes. So I don't understand why now the whole theater has got to be interrupted. You got managers coming in over you just simply getting up and probably shuffling three, four seats down the, like, it's ridiculous. This, this is the type of stuff that make you toss objects. So I don't know, maybe it's a good thing that I'm away for so long because it gives me time to pipe it down a notch. It is go sit in your own seat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Please, sir, let's find your seat and we can start. No, I'm not going to. Then I'm going to ask you to leave. You did, like four or five times. And that's why now we have a disturbance. Because some other people can't just okay. be like, you know what? I could sit right here. Sir, we're not doing this anymore. One seat off. It's, it's just like, this is child stuff. This is, this is what little kids do. They bicker about the smallest inconveniences because they don't know better. But here's the thing. You should know better. You're old enough so i don't see how something like this is that detrimental to where you sir are the disturbance like he's literally the disturbance i don't understand why he bro people are like this is actually bad he's weird the movie not even on either like oh i know everyone is so mad they're pissed we're 
one seat off. So if I were to move over one seat, everything would be okay. Sir, is that what you're saying? You're is that what you're saying? Listen. Does that mean? Are you gonna listen? All right, go ahead. Be go ahead. Be my pass. Okay. At this point, you are disrupting the show for these fine folks. We're gonna ask you to leave. We'll get you a refund though. I'll be nice and get you a refund. I don't know. I might want to be taken out in handcuffs now. Sir, let's. <laughs> I'm not sure if he thought he was, you know, gonna get something out of that. But go right ahead. That ain't got nothing to do with me. If the cops come and lock you up over that, you're actually stupid like brain dead i'm sorry just stuff like this does not make sense to me but it's so fascinating to watch like even i feel weird about watching it and you guys do too because you're watching me and then she even offered him a refund if that wouldn't have got my ass up so fast like i mean you already this far down you might as well just get the refund and, and leave this this the movie he's the movie I, I guess that's what i'm getting out of it he is the star of the film <laughs> i paid my money i don't understand yeah, why it you? is if i sit over here, one C, it's okay, and everything is right with the world. But if not, the world stops and everybody gets upset. Sir, let's go. I'll be nice and I'll get you a refund. I want more than just a refund. Okay. Can I get a drink? We'll take care of you in the lobby. Fine. Okay, okay, he got a couple of laughs, so it's working in his favor. Still gotta get up though. It's just so funny to me to see them try and reason their way out of stuff like this. Because I'm more positive than not. He is the main person talking super loud, trying to just crack jokes, whatever. He's upset. But yeah, pal, literally, you scooting over one or two seats would have not had any of this happen. Just all you gotta do is scoot over. It is not the end of the world. But when Karen's or Ken's, Jeff, I, I don't know the name, right. Since these people feel so entitled, it's like, damn, you can't get nothing else out of it. That's his fault. I probably would have left the theater and got my refund. Cause he talking too much. Shut up. And then I won't come back. Okay. Ever. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure everybody knows about this shit. Okay. Hit the plus for more Karen content. I was loud. That was loud. I wasn't expecting the... I mean, everyone got a promo, but sheesh. I need to move over here because I don't want to be in your way, but we do need to go. I'm capitulating because I don't want to watch the movie now. You ruined it for me because of your silly ass rules. Okay, I apologize about that. I know I'm not. I, I know I'm not losing my mind. Is somebody eating popcorn? <laughs> Somebody during all of this is just enjoying it. They they figured, hey, this is the movie. I still think I'm being the bigger person here. Okay. <laughs> I think he dropped this one. Yeah. Should we go down? He said they're paying $900 for it. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy your movie. Pathetic. <laughs> like, I... I have no words. Pathetic. Just wasted all that time. That was a good movie, though. <laughs> like, let's be fair. That was that was a good clip. You're calling the police because I took your spot. Yes. Okay. I can't take a parking spot. You? Why don't you park in a handicap spot? This is not a handicap spot. Okay, there is a spot literally right there. Park in the spot right next to it. Tell me to shut up again. Tell me to shut up again. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really trying to figure out what is up with that. What is up with the most... How, how can I put this? Because I know I'm wild. Why are all the like brittle and fragile older ladies trying to start beef? Like I'm a little scared to hit 70 because if life's gonna be that boring to where I'm just complaining about a parking spot, knock me out. <laughs> well, no, not, you know, just, it just, it wouldn't be worth it. Like, what do you do at seven? What do you do? I, like that's scary. Just water plants, eat a salad, like, mm. Oh. I command you in Jesus Christ. Oh, really? Get off! Get off! You need to leave. In Jesus Christ's mighty name! Get off! Get off this idol! You are a demon! Get off this idol! Ah. I'm going to see you! Really? Let me, let me, let me get this straight. So in, 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 in Jesus' name, you are telling strangers to leave the aisle because they're demons? <laughs> 
<sighs> it just it doesn't make sense. Like this is this is the type of stuff people be talking about. Like you causing commotion like that in a public setting when literally nothing really has even happened is just so irritating yet so entertaining. I guess to watch because we really don't have a choice. I mean, if you that damn loud in a store, we're gonna look at you. I don't know if she has some sort of sixth sense or something, but for her to be telling demons to leave an aisle. What religion is she practicing? That's right! Tell I can buy something and then I will happily leave! I refuse you all and cast you into the lake of fire in Jesus Christ's mighty name! Yeah. Let's get off this aisle and try to buy something! Have respect for Jesus Christ's name! Oh my goodness. So nobody could be in the aisle. It's just all yours. Like, you, you see the entitlement that I'm trying to, like, get at? And then the fact that everyone left the aisle, like, I still would have been in the aisle if I was already there. Like, you're not gonna force me to leave an aisle because you feel some type of way. And then to put that on Jesus, like, wh where are we taking this, man? Sit her outside. Who is in the wrong here? Or I'll move it for you. No, you're not moving nothing. I'm ready to drive these packages off and you ready to wait, bro. Chill, bro. I just parked the truck not too long They're ago. 10 cars in the way. Move the mother truck. Yeah, all right. Picture that. You're not talking to me like that, bro. Show some respect. I, I am talking to you like that right now. All right, I'm going to move it for you then. If you get in my fucking truck, I'm going to spaz on you, bro. You're going to spaz on me. You're going to spaz on me. Why don't you spaz on the bro, steering wheel? I'm trying to drop my shit off, bro. Get out of my face, bro. Dude, move the van. Come bro. on, you got like 20 people. Bro, out. all y'all in my fing ear, bro. Go get your fing truck, bro. Do you Get's see the fing? mess you're causing bro i'm not causing I'm hit the plus for more karen content all right see everything was fine i'm trying to watch it up until they hit the plus we'll, we'll hit the plus calm down but in a situation like this i'm not gonna lie like mm, it's almost one of those like which side are you on because like i get it dude's just trying to do his job and drop off packages What's the big deal? Then the guy filming literally turns the camera and we just see an entire roll full of cars who literally were trying to get by. So I get it, 100%. I get the frustration. I can see why he's so upset. Now where the lines bleed is like, did he have to like curse him out over that? I don't know if he already asked him and then got a certain response and then started filming. You, you have to ask all those questions in order to like see who's right. Who, who do you guys think in this situation is right? I don't know. I'm just seeing it for what it is. I'm not choosing sides, but they both kind of annoying for that. I'm not gonna lie. And then you put it up. Like we all saw it. Excuse me, excuse me. You have a, uh, a I'm not homeless. Oh, here's a dollar. Go away. No, I'm just trying to tell you you have a, okay? That's gotta be a whole skit. I don't believe that whatsoever. Are you serious? She literally has the whole gas pump just dangling off her car. <laughs> And then throws a dollar out the window. That's it? He's talking about she thought he was homeless. That's weird. She's weird. She's weird for that. That has to be a skit. I don't believe that one bit. That did not sell me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's on this side. I'd like side. to pay for your gas. What would you like? How much do you want? <laughs> hey, brother, Paul Jackson, right? Are you for real? Oh, she said she gonna fill it up on the house. That's real. Hey, that was her fault. That was in my fault. I was already right here. That's I just pulled out. I'm still running this thing up, bro. It's like she told me I could fill my tank up. So I gotta make sure my tank is all the way filled up, you know? 17 gallons, 60 bucks. Guys. I'm not, I'm not really getting this one. It says part two, dealing with a guilty Karen. So something clearly must have already happened, but I, I guess she's, the Karen is letting him fill up his tank. I'm not really sure what went down, but like for a $60 fill up, I would have finessed the whole thing and just drove off. Thank you. So whether she did something or didn't, cause we don't have all that info. I would have left. I would have left with the fattest ass tank of gas. Easy steal. Be honest out here, man, for real. I'm not gonna lie though, he is pressing that, but he keeps pulling it. Like, it's full, we get it. You gotta get every last drop. Now you're just overdoing it. Put it up and go. You proved your point. You finessed Karen for some gas. Goals. I just did. He's just making a whole video for it. We get it. It's okay. Go back to Mexico. Listen, I said, I said, excuse go, go, me. Go back. Where are you from? I said, excuse me. Don't be rude. No, you're the one that's rude. No, I said, yes, excuse me. I'm trying to buy you're something. In America. So? You're in America. So? So Are what? That's right none here? of your business. Stay out of it. I don't need it. Wow. That's... She went... Oh, wow. That's too much. 
Wow. Now these type of Karens are the most irritating. Like genuinely, if somebody pushed her in the street, would I feel bad? <laughs> it's one of those. But like for some people to just immediately bring up race and then be like, go back to your country. It's just like, why is that relevant? A lot of these videos just start off a whim. Like you don't necessarily get backstory unless they tell it. But from seeing it, from me seeing this for what it is, the lady who's filming it is, I guess, trying to be polite. She literally just said, you're not being nice. You're being rude. Here go this blue shirt specimen who's like, oh, go back to Mexico. Go, go back to your country over saying excuse me or over you getting said excuse me too and now i guess she has to leave the country like you're weird you're weird for that know that shirt stink too like i'm gonna get in there stay out of it. Stay i out. said Yelling excuse me for everybody to hear stop being ignorant you calling me ignorant oh yes my goodness oh my goodness you are, you are yeah. very rude. Oh, I hope she didn't just say what I thought she just said. Because I'm going to have to bleep it out. That, yo, nah, she's weird, bro. She's weird. But, like, are we surprised? Like, bro, this that's sad. Like, I'm not even shocked. People just think they could get away with saying it. Again, if somebody pushed your ass in the street, that has, that has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to do it. But I'm not going to feel sorry for you. And I'm probably not going to help you up. Because you deserved it. <laughs> No, you're the one that's rude. I said, excuse me, because I, I'm trying to grab my medicine. You told me, you know what you told me. And I yes, I said, I said, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. On. Just go on. Just go on. Get Whatever. Get out of here. No, I'm not going to get out of here. Go. No. No, I'm not. Because this is my country. country. Yes, this is my country. country. Oh, yes, it is. No, no, we don't oh, yes, it here. is. I don't that's care. We don't want you I don't care what you want or not. We don't want you here. As in, we don't want you in this country. Who's we? <laughs> You're the miserable one. You're the one saying this. Like, I love how y'all try and spin it to where, uh, what, we're all in alignment with this. No, that's her ignorant ass saying that. That, uh, that has nothing to do with me. I am such a easygoing person to where if simply something has nothing to do with me, it is not my business, I'm not gonna pay attention to it. And I'm sure as hell not gonna get mad about it. How miserable you gotta be to go to a store and wreak havoc. I wonder what her house look like. Like, now I'm just gonna start baking people because it's like, why? Like, you're weird. No. We don't want you here. Leave me that's alone. not true. No. Yeah. How, rude. You. Rude. How rude! How rude! Give her to no, me. Leave me alone. This, this, this is inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you, her. Yeah, tell her. No, no, ma'am. Oh. Tell her. It's inappropriate. I said, excuse me. Oh. Speak for the store. I'm not here for the store. You're in the store. I'm spending money in the store. Correct. So am I. That's correct. Uh huh. So we're both Please customers. go. Please oh. go. Get out of here. Now you got this lady crying and like, that's sad. I genuinely do feel bad for her. All of this just never even be worth it in the first place. That's why it's so entertaining because they look stupid. You actually, for the most part, look stupid because no one's on that. Go kick rocks by the pond. Maybe that might pump your young juices back up. I don't know. Figure it out. That's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to show a few clips. I don't want to dive too deep into it because some of y'all actually might get upset and then like some odd reason get upset with me when I have nothing to do with but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Now, there are so many Karen clips that just are around. So please do not hesitate to send those to me. You can either DM me on Instagram at LOJason or drop a comment here. I can shuffle through those and just see like what you guys want me to do next. But I just figured it was about time we reacted to something like this. So if you liked it, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And that's going to be it from me. So all you non-Karens out there, have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.